Hi, Abby. The story that I have for you and for everybody else who is listening today is called When You Are Brave. And this is the story that we read in school together last week. It was written by Pat Zietlow Miller and illustrated by Eliza Wheeler. And I have the book right here in my hand and you are able to see the book right on the screen. Are you ready to get started? Okay. Remember, this is a story about a little girl who is moving with her family to a new place. And she's not very excited about it at first. You can tell from this picture, she does not look excited at all. She looks a little bit nervous. And when you're feeling nervous, that's when you need to have the most amount of bravery, the most courage. We talked about that when we read this book together. I hope that you will really enjoy listening to it again. All right, here we go. Some days when you, oh sorry, some days when everything around you seems scary, you have to be brave. Brave as a bird that steps from its nest hoping to soar through the sky. Brave as a dog that wanders for miles searching for one well-known light. Brave as a caterpillar that builds a bed wondering when it will wake because some days are full of things that you would rather not do. Like plunging into a pool all by yourself, hoping you'll swim and not sink, or standing alone in front of a crowd searching for one friendly face, or boarding the bus and riding to school, wondering what lies ahead. Oh, sounds like Sadie's feeling a little bit brave right now. She must like this story. And look at these pictures of the kid, of this little girl in the story. She looks really nervous right here about jumping into the pool. Here she is on stage searching for just one friendly face, someone in the crowd that looks familiar to her. Oh, and here she is getting on a school bus all by herself the first time with some children that she doesn't know. Those are all times when you really need to be brave, aren't they? Have you ever had to do any of those things? Or any other things that have made you feel really nervous? I bet you have. At times like these, the world can seem too big, too loud, too hard too much. Look at her. She's looking out the window and look at what she sees. When you feel too small, too quiet, too tired, and just not enough. On those days, look deep inside to find the courage that you need. It might be hidden away, but if you close your eyes and breathe, you will see it shining its light in the dark, warm, steady, and safe. Oh, and let's look really closely at this character in this picture. Look at her. That's her courage deep inside of her heart. She's closing her eyes. <sighs> Taking some deep breaths, trying really hard to be brave. Have you ever done that? Have you ever taken deep breaths when you're feeling a little bit nervous about something? Oops. There we go. If you close your eyes and you breathe, Oops, I'm sorry, I already read that page. Your light might be small to start, just a spark, but you can turn it into a flame. Picture it in your mind. And I'm going to pause here for a second. Oops. Let's see if we can go back to that page. I'm going to pause here for a second because I want you to notice what the shape of her courage looks like. It just doesn't want to stay on that page, does it? Look at the shape of the courage that's all around her. Do you, do you recognize that shape? It's the shape of butterfly wings. 
when you turn into a butterfly and you're feeling like a butterfly, you're getting ready to change. You need a lot of courage to do it, just like caterpillars need a lot of courage to turn into a chrysalis and then turn into a butterfly. But look at her, she's taking some deep breaths and she looks really <sighs> calm and peaceful now, doesn't she? Are you picturing it in your mind? Then imagine it becoming bigger and bolder. You can make your courage so big that it brightens your heart, fills your fingers, and flows to your toes. Look at all of the courage following along, along her as she drives down the road. Think about what you're good at, something you love or someone who loves you. No one else will see it, but you'll know you glow. And before I read this page, I want you to close your eyes if you're listening to the story and feel your courage inside of you getting bigger and bigger as you think about all of those special things that you're so good at. Those things that you're an expert in. Things that make you feel really proud when you do them. And then think about all of the people who love you. People who live in your home. People who live out of your home. People that you see every day. People that you don't see really at all. Or maybe even people that you used to see every day. That you don't get to see very much anymore because we're staying away from other people a lot of times to try to stay away from germs. You might miss some of those people, but they still love you and they're still there for you. So think about all of those different things. Just like this little girl, look at her staring out the window. It looks like the sun is rising now. And the words say, and you'll know you are ready. No matter how deep the water, how loud the crowd, how hard the ride, or how much there is to do. You might struggle. You might succeed. People might clap or laugh. <laughs> or they might not notice at all. Sometimes you succeed in something and you're really excited and proud about it and nobody else even notices. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. But no matter what happens, you'll be all right. You'll always be all right when you're feeling brave. Because once you find your courage, it's easy to use it again and again. The next time that life seems scary or you're starting something new, you can remember when you were brave. Are you remembering? And then you can stand straight and walk tall. Oh, look at how brave she looks now standing with her superhero cape on, knowing that you are as brave as a bird, a dog, and a caterpillar as brave as you all right i hope that you loved this story when you are brave